continue through our Wednesday morning. It's uh, time for Ask the Lawyer with Bruce L. Shiner, for example. Always an informative segment on this radio program. If you've submitted a question previously, perhaps today's the day your question gets some attention from Bruce L. Shiner. If not, that's okay. I'll tell you how to submit a question in uh, the future by going to our website. But first, would you please help me welcome Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Hey, good morning, Bruce. Hey, good morning, Todd. How are you doing this beautiful southwest Florida morning? I think we've got the weather about as perfect as we can fine-tune it, you know? Maybe a little cool in the morning, but it's going to be gorgeous this afternoon. Yeah, it, it's paradise. It is. It is indeed. And this is, I know, yours and mine, uh, favorite time of the year. And uh, for a lot of folks, too. Unless, of course, you've stumbled into some trouble, which is what this segment largely is about. I have an email here. With a young lady in trouble, hopefully you'll be able to help out. You ready? I am ready, Todd. Okay, here's what it says. My 17-year-old daughter was in Miami visiting my sister, and she decided to go to a shopping mall across town. As she and one of her cousins were leaving one of the stores, there was an altercation, and she was shot by a stray bullet fired by a young man about 20 feet from my daughter. She was rushed to the hospital with a severe spine injury from the shooting. When I watched a local news story, they reported that this mall was the site of several previous shootings. Following an earlier incident, they had promised the public that they would increase security. The reporter on my daughter's shooting scene indicated that none of those security measures had been implemented. The hospital doctors tell my daughter she will need extensive physical therapy and treatment. Our family struggles to meet our bills and can't afford this extra expense. When we contacted the mall management, they denied responsibility. And you ask the lawyer if there's anything we can do. Well, that's a really scary thing to have happen, and obviously an uphill struggle from here. What do you recommend, Bruce? Well, I recommend that they immediately contact an experienced personal injury lawyer. Uh -huh. and, it, and it does not have to be in Miami. It could be wherever they live. And, you know, we, we love to um, help people in those type of cases. Right. So the main guiding principle is that when you're attracting customers to your business, you have a duty to provide a safe place to shop. Uh -huh. and, and that safe place depends on the circumstances. Uh -huh. So the, the number of questions that I look at when I'm approached with this type of case, the first one is, were there prior incidents of violence that have been reported on or near the property? It does seem like that. And if so, were the security measures added after any prior incidents? Uh -huh. um, did the shopping center have adequate security in place at the time of the shooting? <coughs> Excuse me. What security measures, such as visible surveillance cameras and security personnel were in place to deter crime and protect the victim at the time of the shooting. Uh -huh. um, property owners are generally required to protect against foreseeable harm to anyone and everyone legally on the premises. So, you know, they, they just need to provide a safe place to shop and because of the prior incidents, they should have had more security guards at the mall. They should have had ample um, security cameras. Sure. And did whatever they could to prevent this tragic thing from happening. Mm -hmm. and, and I noticed that you used the word foreseeable in what you just said. And... Because they've had this kind of thing happen before there, this is completely foreseeable. You can't claim, hey, we never saw this coming. Absolutely. that That's the key to a case like that is yeah. when, when you have a prior incident, you're on, on notice and you have a duty, again, to increase your security measures to prevent things like that from happening. Now, now just out of curiosity, this... Um, Email says we contacted the mall and they are denying responsibility. When it comes right down to it, this is going to be a matter for the mall's insurance company to deal with, probably, correct? And that is correct. And, and 
Unfortunately for the average person, that's a typical response. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't do anything wrong. You know, we're right. denying your claim. Exactly. And that, that forces people to come and call, you know, experienced personal injury attorneys. Sure. sure. So they go to bat for them. That's right. And going up against the mall is one thing. Going up against a, a major insurance company... Well, you got to have some firepower on your side. That's why we recommend you contact a professional. Right, Bruce? Uh, I agree wholeheartedly. All right. Well, let's hope that there's a brighter future. 17 years old, uh, just really awful to have to go through the physical therapy, the rehab, and all of that. But let's hope she can come out the other side whole, complete, and uh, able to uh, do whatever she wants to do in life. Because she's got a lot of life ahead of her. But it all depends on getting the right help right now. Bruce, thanks again for weighing in. Thank you, Todd. Always, you always present interesting, challenging questions, and I look forward to next week. I was just going to say, always a learning experience with you, Bruce L. Shiner. Have a great week yourself. Say hi to the rest of the Shiners for us here at Kicks Country. Okay. Thank you, Todd. Take care now. Bye-bye. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured, and hopefully some uh, direction. For this young lady. Now, if you find yourself in similar circumstances, you can always send us an email. Go to the website and type in the keyword Bruce to find out more. But it might be more emergent than just waiting for an answer on the radio. So call the Port Charlotte office of Associates and Bruce L. Shiner at 941-743-7777. 941-743-7777. And tell them the Todd sent you. From Kicks Country 92.9.